Okay, everybody, and welcome back to some more Daylight. Uh, this is going to be fun. It's been a bit since I played this. Uh, see, I... Well, there's some creepy music already. I'm trying to remember how to play, you know, familiarize myself with these. Uh, last time I played, I remember I was annoyed and I didn't read this, so let's get back and read some stuff. Prisoner 85 has been under my direct observation for the past week. No change in temperament. He seems to have contracted some sort of virus causing fever and incoherent ranting. He is currently receiving treatment by nurses. By the nurses. I'll reevaluate his conditions after the studies have Okay. Been completed. It just randomly left. I didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's this? Miss Dr. Mercer, the maintenance staff has finished the modifications to your office that you asked for. Also, per your request, I've made sure to only let certain staff work on smaller parts of the larger project. Your new desk should be fully functional now. Judy. Okay, so Judy's doing her due diligence as maybe an assistant or something. Um, I right, got yeah, glow sticks here. I kind of forgot how to use the glow sticks, so I'm assuming it's this one. All right, there you go. All right, so let's let's truck on. What's this? Patient nine F admitted with burns over sixty percent of of body, skin grafts underway. Patient is refusing treatment and talks constantly about visions, but we're proceeding anyway. Sometimes it's not about the patient, not about what the patient wants, but about what about doing whatever it takes to make them better. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Conflict cannot survive without our participation. This is true. Huh. Okay. Let's just go in here. Um. Alright, so... So yeah, like I said, I haven't played this in a good bit. I've been recording other stuff, so this is... Probably been a week or so that I haven't played this, so I'm probably gonna get scared. Oh yeah, Judy again. Judy, it's recently come to my attention that much of the staff, yourself included, has been getting a bit too comfortable spreading rumors. I don't need to remind you how well you and the others have it here compared to the disease-ridden mainland. Do I? Yes, we've had wealth of we've had a wealth of issues with the inmates, and some of our more colorful patients. Yes, we've had to turn to drastic measures to deal with them occasionally. But I need everyone behind me if we're going to keep this place running. I'm doing everything I can, M. I'm assuming that's Dr. Mercer talking to Judy. Hmm. So it seems things are going a little. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is that a compliment? I don't like this guy. I'm. Oh. Whoa. Alright, so I'm just gonna open this. Alright, before I go there. Oh, look at this. Walter Mercer. Masters of Science of Psych in Psychology. Hmm. I'm just saying, that looks like a little, a little phony written right there. It looks like they just scribbled that in. I lost my stick. Well, let's go pick up another one then. I mean, you know, if they give it to me, I'll take it. Oh, we got it. We got, ooh, we got a bathroom, another note. Patient 13, such an ominous number. Hospital records indicate that this number is typically attribute, eh, attri eh, attributed, attributed, sorry, <laughs> to particularly troubled patients. So, current case is no exception given the nature of her birth. I foresee many institutions had decisions and more in her future. Sometimes I find myself wondering if the people's inner turmoil is beyond any human help. Hmm. So, if you're giving number 13, that means you're a real nut job, apparently. Let's 
supposed to be a lucky and unlucky number, isn't it? No, 13 is unlucky, I think. 7 is lucky. Or is it on? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's, let's go. We can t I was always fortunate in that regard. Oh, you mean for when I turn? <laughs> okay. For our time together. That's a little creepy. Ah, uh, on the way from home. Mm-hmm. Home away from home indeed. <coughs> the fuck? It's electric. Hmm. Oh no, this is a flare box, right? Yep. Oh, no, glow sticks, okay. Well then. What the fuck was that? Can I. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? Oh, that's not fair. I thought it was gonna give me more. Oh, I did that for no reason, then, apparently. Hmm. I'm not gonna open this one. Well, actually, I might because it's. Oh, yeah, glow sticks. Oh no, they gave me more flares. Okay. Oh. Ring, ring. Hello? Seemingly nothing over here. Oh, I gotta start getting remnants again. I keep hearing some sounds over here. What the fuck is that? Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. That scared me. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for letting me out. I think I went this way. Let's check down here. Hello, any spooky ghosts? Oh, I see. Yeah, those are glow sticks. Oh, there's a locker. Oh, there's a few lockers over here I can look through. Can I not? I found a glow stick. More glow sticks. <laughs> oh, that scared me. <laughs> that's that's spooky. I I'll break out another one because they're giving me them here. Might as well check. Right, open it. Open it. I glow stick. And it's empty. And I have flares that I can't pick up now. Yay. Is there nothing in here that I can. No sigils or remnants. These are sigils. Sorry, I oh, was thinking that's where I came from. Hmm. Okay. I know oh. there's somebody here. Oh, good. I actually said that I need to use like a fucking ghosty. Oh, see, there was a nail here. What the hell? Okay. All right, I gotta find some of these remnants. Uh oh. Yeah, I, was I know there. you're there. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! oh, fuck! Fuck! Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, oh, fuck me! <laughs> oh, that was fucking scary. That was fucking scary. Okay, okay. 
Alright, I need to find these fucking things. Why did I, why did I start playing this shit again? Alright. I, I was just in here. And there was nothing in here. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm panicking now and I'm just running in circles. Jesus. Fucking Christ, that was scary. Okay.